So in today's video, we're, I'm going to be going over interior lighting and how to do it correctly, I guess. Uh, with that being said, first thing you need is an, uh, you need a light proxy, which in short terms is just a dummy object that you can attach lights to. So what I've done is just duplicated the floor mesh like this and moved it down a bit and made sure the transforms are applied and we can just attach our lights like this. And in the Y type, make sure that the light proxy is attached to the room, not the limbo room. Otherwise, the shadows will not work. So now we can go ahead and just go and visit our lights. So I'll explain as I go why I'm doing what I'm doing. But so here we have a point light, which is just like is pretty much a circle almost. And this is going to be like a fake corona of the light or what I'm intending it to be. Um, so this one, you're going to want the intensity to be quite low, as you don't want it to be very noticeable. And the falloff, you can just leave at like 1. And the falloff exponent, you want pretty low, because you want it to be really small. Uh, the shadow near clip, you can just ignore. These, you can ignore too. The volume stuff, you can ignore. Distance, I'm just going to set these all to like 35 or something. Doesn't really need to be done, but I guess you can. And for the culling plane... This is to prevent light passing through walls. So I'm going to toggle this and I'll try explaining how it works. So as you can see, there's like a gizmo. This is with Solemns 2.4, which was released just today. And uh, these arrows on the side uh, indicate which way it's like facing, I guess. And so if I set this to zero, you'll see it's like reset. But you see how the X axis is like the way we want it to be facing. So... We'll set this to like 1, and uh, now it's facing the wrong way, so we'll set this to negative 1. And you can play with the offset to move it back and forth and whatnot. That's pretty much good enough. We can just toggle this back off. For the corona, uh, for the corona size, I'm just going to leave it quite small, like 0.8. For the corona intensity, I'll leave it like 2. And the Z bias, you can just ignore, really. Uh, time flags, I have it set to all. And for the flags, I'm just going to use just the no specular flag. And now for the point light, or the spotlight actually. This is like the light that shines upwards. Uh, this one you're going to want to be like quite intense, or not too intense, but more than the other one for sure. Uh, you can use similar falloff values. And for the cone, you can just play with it until you are happy with the results. I'm just going to use like 100, and the cone inner angle is like the blending, or like, I guess the gradient, like how sharp it is. I'll set this to like 0.7 or something. And for the volume, I'm going to set the volume intensity to 0.1, and the rest you can just leave like that. For the distance, I'm just going to set this to like 35 as well. Uh, for the culling plane, I'm going to do the same thing as the previous one. That's just a negative 1, and then 0.25. I'm actually going to move this back a bit more, just in case uh, it blocks it from showing on the wall. I'm going to toggle back off again. And for the corona, you want all this set to 0, because you don't want a corona for the spotlight. Or the, yeah. And for the flags, I'm going to use just the uh, draw volume flag, and... That's pretty much it. You can optionally use not in reflection, but I'm going to choose not to. That just makes it so it's not in mirror reflections, I believe. And now what we can do is just duplicate these around. Each of these lights. Now we've got these lights set up. Now we can go ahead and do the ceiling lights. Actually, wait, hold on. I missed something. I just realized something. I need to invert these lights that are facing upwards as these lights... They need to be facing down. I'm just going to select all of them. And then I'm just going to rotate them on the x-axis by 180. And it should be good. Oh, wait. I need to do individual origins. 180. There. And then now what we're going to do is do the roof or ceiling lights. I'm just going to duplicate one of these point lights and move it into position.
Uh, what I recommend you doing is once you find things that you liked, how it looks, is use the light presets. You can create your own here with the plus, and it's very, very useful. So for the ceiling lights, I'm going to change this to a spotlight, and I'm just going to apply this preset and explain what is just in the preset, I guess. So here we have the intensity set pretty high, as we want it to be quite noticeable. And the fall off and fall off exponents pretty low. And we have the cone inner angle set to like 180, so it covers the whole like the whole thing or whatever. Uh, these you can just ignore. The culling plane, I'm going to edit this because this isn't really correct. I don't think it is, yeah. It doesn't look like it. I'm just going to set this to zero. And then we're just going to move the offset up a bit. So it goes into the roof. And we're just going to make sure that the arrows are facing down. So this needs to be negative one, I think. Yeah. Negative one, and then we're just going to move this back up again. And for the corona, I believe we don't want the corona, so we're just going to set this to zero for all of that. And for the flags, we want the only in reflection, and we want uh, corona only. And we want to enable the culling plane. For the corona, we're just going to set this to one, the corona intensity one as well, and the z bias to point one. Then for the time flags, I'm just going to select all. I'm also going to... Um, wait, never mind. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this uh, point light. And we're just going to apply this other preset. So this, this top part here is mostly the same. But what we're going to do is set the corona to zero. And we're going to do the same thing for the uh, culling plane. For the flags, we're going to just enable uh, enable culling plane. That's it. And we're just going to duplicate these around to each of the lights. And once you have them for each here, like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just duplicate one of them and put them in the middle of all of them, like this. And I'm going to move it down a tiny bit. And I'm going to apply this other preset and I'll explain why. Uh, I'm just going to set the calling plane all to zero as we don't really need a calling plane. This one. I'm just going to disable that. We're going to set the corona intensity and everything to zero as well. And this one, you, you're going to want it to be a bit bigger. So the fall off larger and the fall off exponent as well. And for the flags, you want it to show that the uh, not in reflection is selected and the cast static and dynamic shadows are selected. And also in, uh, no specular. This is going to be acting as our shadow caster. Um, to prevent all of the lights casting shadows at once, we're just going to have a specific light for it. So now I'm just going to duplicate these lights over to the other uh, ones. And what we can do is go ahead and I believe we need to enable the culling plane for these lights here. I set them, so we need to go to the flags and set enable culling plane. And I just realized we need to rotate these because these are not rotated correctly. There we go, now the culling planes are all set and I believe we should be able to test in game now. We have the ceiling lights set up and the uh, wall lights or I'm just going to export our proxy and just put it into our server resource real quick. As you can see here, our lights look pretty decent. But I uh, might need to change the coloring on it a little bit. These lights or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what I highly recommend you doing, if you're struggling with lighting, is find lights and reference from vanilla GTA interiors. That is the best reference, there's no other option really. Uh, because Rockstar knows how their own game works, so yeah. Just with that being said, I hope this video helped you and let me know in the comments what you, I guess any suggestions for any future videos.